Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be breaking down the first official trailer since DC Fandom, so it was just dropped literally like half an hour ago. So, freak out guys, finally we're getting our first look footage. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we're going to be breaking down the trailer shot by shot like we normally do when there is trailers for our shows and finally we're getting Flash stuff and there is also some news in regards to Supergirl that just came out today as well so we're getting a bunch of stuff and that's very exciting. Let's go ahead and get into this trailer so the first shot of the trailer shows Barry and Iris and so their hands are touching and you see a lightning bolt kind of course out of Barry's hand and it kind of reacts to Iris's hand being there. So I'm not sure what specific scene or where it is in the episode, but the narration says, come back to me. That is what Barry is saying to Iris. Then we move on to the next shot, and this shot is of Cisco. He's using one of the weapons at Star Labs. He's in the speed test room or whatever it's called. And then we go to the cortex and the doors open up and there's smoke everywhere. This leads on to the next shot where we see Barry actually inside there and so that smoke is kind of him and he is you know being tested on or something it seems like he may be in there to try and get his speed back because it looks like he's willingly there and we've never seen anyone inside this we've never seen this machine before and there is some red lighting which turns to purple and then he's kind of sitting on this chair and this chair does look kind of like a doctor's chair or something so I'm presuming they're doing something to do with his speed force. And so in the trailer, there's a lot of talk in regards to Barry losing his speed. So then we move on to the next shot, and this is of Joe. And he says, our greatest weapon is our humanity and our love for each other. And then he says to Barry, have faith, son, we'll find Iris. So he's basically consoling Barry in the scene, as you can see Barry right here. And then we go over to this kind of false reality because Iris thinks this is real. Go, them eating Big Belly Burger takeaway in what looks like their apartment. And then at this point, Iris realizes something is wrong. And basically she comes to the conclusion, I'm still in the mirror verse. And she says, oh God, I'm still here. And then you get to see this shot of Barry in reverse. And he's kind of just looking at her. And that's obviously because he's not real and it's just like a projection in Iris's mind. This then moves on to a very distraught looking Barry and so it cuts in and it seems he's kind of praying or like wishing for Iris to come back. And so it seems episode one is definitely going to be heavy on getting Iris back. We may get her back by the end of the episode. However, I don't know how likely it is because maybe it might be episode two or something. So then we go on to the next shot and you see Iris kind of freaking out inside their apartment and she basically realizes, oh, I've been imagining this. I thought I was back in reality, but I'm actually still in the mirror verse. Then we go on to this next shot and Barry says, this enemy is all powerful. And I actually can't really make out who it is here, but he is talking to someone and that someone's going to help him. And so the all-powerful enemy he's talking about is Eva, as you can see in the next shot, she's got her hands in this kind of classic supervillain pose where she is looking down on the city and she is enacting her plans and we'll get to her plans in a minute because there's a shot that definitely teases what's to come. And so Cisco realizes that she isn't just transferring through mirrors, she's transferring and manipulating herself through reflective surfaces. And so obviously we knew that because we've seen more of her using her powers and she doesn't just come out of mirrors, she comes out of anything reflective. So they're realizing at this point, oh God, this person literally can come out anywhere and attack us and we're gonna literally know nothing and get attacked basically. Talking about attacks, it looks like in the next shot inside the CCPD, this officer and Joe are being attacked. Joe calls backup, which is then preceded by another attack where we see Barry in some sort of warehouse. He says he's called for backup and you see Killer Frost here and they are fighting Eva inside this warehouse because it all looks very much the same. And then Barry in this next shot is like, give me my wife back. 
and you know he's trying to get into the mirror verse throughout this episode then this leads on to what i was talking about with eva this is a definite tease towards what's happening with her as in this shot you get to see four different versions of eva and you can kind of tell that they're stunt doubles well that's what we've seen in behind the scenes photos we know there's going to be like an army of evas at one point and so that's her kind of plan to duplicate herself and have this big army to take on the Flash and anyone else who stands in her way. Then you move on to the next shot and we got Barry and he is like, I know how to get inside the portal to the Mirrorverse. And so he's like, I'm going to get me back Iris and I'm going to defeat Eva. And so that's what's happening in this episode as well as all of the other stuff. You get to see this portal target, it says West Allen, Iris, and then that is an obvious reference to him going in, finding this portal, and on that screen there's a warning sign and there is an activate button, he's obviously going to click activate, even if there is danger, because, you know, that's what he does, he's a superhero after all. And so it seems like he actually tries to get into a mirror, because this looks like maybe Eva's mirror, which is most likely the portal, because that was probably the first place where the mirror first existed. So maybe Barry backtracked everything to Eva's office and was like, yes, this is a portal, I'm going to try and break in, and, and I think he may break in in this episode. So then we move on to a shot where Barry is being shot by some sort of gun. And so he goes flying and you go on to the next shot and he is all distraught. I'm pretty sure Eva's going to be messing with him this whole episode and basically beating him down until he's at his very lowest. And then he's eventually going to be defeated, which obviously isn't the case, but that is kind of her plan. So then we move on. We got a shot of Iris inside the Mirrorverse. And throughout this trailer, we get some of the stuff we got from DC Fandom with Iris. And surprisingly, we get a lot of new footage, like a hell of a lot. So this is Iris inside the Mirrorverse again. Then we move on. Barry is lying on the ground. He's obviously been punched or something by Eva or shot down to the ground. Maybe that is a continuation of that past shot. And then we continue on from there. You've got Killer Frost fighting Eva outside. I believe some of this is actually from episode 3 and episode 2. Like, I'm pretty sure this outside fight scene they shot for episode 3 because there was like one big final climax with Eva and you know a bunch of our characters outside so potentially they might have added some footage from other episodes in here which seems very likely. So then we move on and we've got Chester and Chester is here saying Barry you've got like 1% of your speed left and basically he has to be very careful like how the hell is he gonna stop Eva with 1% of his speed force left. So we're in the speed lab and you see the machine behind them that they made to try and give Barry his speed force back so maybe at this point they are testing and trying to figure out how the new speed force is going to work how they're going to create the artificial speed force but in this scene it does seem like Barry has been attacked possibly by Eva probably most likely because there is no other threat as of right now and so he looks up in despair again and then that moves on to a shot of Iris and it does seem like she's in the Star Labs speed labs However, that could totally be in the mirror of us, so we don't know about that for now. However, she is there, there is some sort of gust of wind blowing in her direction, she's been attacked, and that moves on to this shot. And this is the coolest shot of the trailer. We have Barry using all of his Speed Force energy. He is either using his final 1% here to travel back in time or, you know, practice or anything like that, because he is in the test room or he has just got access to his new speed force. I think that's probably more likely because if you look specifically at the lightning bolts, they are different colors. So is this new artificial speed force giving him blue lightning because it kind of looks like he's got that bluish whitish lightning and then he's got more yellow, then he's got a mix of orange. So is this him accessing that new speed force and tapping into it? It would seem very likely considering all that we've seen in this trailer and so he is egged on by none other than Eobard Thorn, the Reverse Flash. And you can see that he is in the speed lab and you can see the machine powered on in the background, that being the artificial speed force machine. And so does Eobard Thorn help him, you know, within his mind I guess, to get his speed force powers back? Well it does seem very very likely from what we see in this trailer so Thorn is back that is very exciting it's very likely that this isn't the actual Thorn and that is just an imaginary figure helping Barry but then we move on to the final shot of the trailer 
and Barry is again in despair. It seems like a big theme throughout this episode. He's trying so hard to get Iris out of the Mirrorverse and I think everything is just kind of crashing down all at once because he's got no speed. Eva's really powerful and he's trying to defeat her but also save Iris at the same time, find the portal and get in. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a like and a comment. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. Remember we make daily flash content and we will be breaking this trailer down further in videos this coming week so don't miss any of those. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.